ओके गुड वेलकम बैक द डिस्क्रिप्शन द लास्ट क्लास वेर डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट ऑल द इनपुट डिवाइसेस इन द कीबोर्ड एंड द माउस सो टुडे आई गोइंग टू डिस्क्रिप्स अबाउट द लाइट पेन इज एन अदर डिवाइस इज यूज टू एक्सपोर्ट योर इमेज और एक्सपोर्ट योर लाइक सिग्नेचर्स और एनी टेक्स्ट टू द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एग्जाम्पल इन योर क्रिकेट मैच there is a person so is a on the your anchoring area uh it am uh, some the marking on the your screen that is the how much ball is in the leg side how much ball in the off side so that is the use of the light pen and the best example is that in the rto office in the road uh, transport office when you are moved to the any driving license there is also the light light pen is there when you sign uh, you, you uh, when you put a signature in a pad that thing is not be uh, visible but whatever writing on that pad that will be visible on your screen so that is the work of this light pen next come to the track ball now what is the track ball it is one type of mouse also this is a ball is there and, and this ball is according to the movement of that ball your pointer will be move that is used for the uh, playing the different type of games also there and is also used uh, in your joystick right now this is the trackball next is your scanner it is used to scan your copies and your photocopies or any text and that becomes image form image form and transferred into the computer system so that is known as the scanner next is your barcode reader what is the barcode reader now barcode reader here the as image barcode reader is a device which is used to read the barcodes is in used in the product a specific product either in the book or any type of product in the, within that uh, barcode there is a product name price name then the color of the product then everything is there so that is the device is used to read that information from the barcode that is the barcode reader next is your magnetic ink character reader mic uh, it is used to read the characters is uh, present below the in the check in the issued by the bank or issued by the uh, so your person so that that character special characters written in the magnetic in through the magnetic ink to read that character the mic is are used next is optical character reader ocr that optical character reader ocr is used uh, for the reading the text reading the text and uh, transfer that image to the computer area so that is known as optical character reader and next is optical marks uh, reader omr generally it is a very common thing omr omr sheet is there you can uh, use your sb pencils or pen whatever you are mark that uh, uh, to points like uh, uh, circles or squares and that uh, machine optical mark reader read that or sense that uh, 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 marking areas and uh, according to that you calculate the marks or whatever things so that is the optical mark reader omr so it is there right so these are the all about the input devices what are used in the computer system next is your uh, next is your, your output devices so under the output devices there are monitor and printers are the main output devices monitor used for the soft copies and printers are used the hard copies so monitor is also known as the video visual display unit as the main output device of a computer there are two kinds of viewing screen used for monitors one is a crt monitors and the flat panel display previously there are the crt monitors are used crt has been cathode ray tubes technology is there crt monitors are used but nowadays the flat panel display is used so that is the uh, uh, your the medium through which you can uh, display your soft copies right the monitors crt cathode ray tubes and flat panel display next is your printers printer is an output device which is used to print information on paper there are two types of printers impact printers and the non impact printers so what is the impact printers and what is the non impact printers now impact printers are generally uh, under the impact printers then generally there is a dot matrix printer what is this type of printers 
dot matrix printer line printer these are the impact printers location where it will find in the line pack printers like uh, in the electric office when you uh, the bill is generated after the when you after the depositing of money then the b1 bill is generated uh, that uh, printer is a dot matrix printer in water supply office also in the government water supply office when you're going to deposit the water bill there is also a bill generated next move to the railway station whatever the ticket is generated that is also dot matrix impact printer dot matrix printer so why it is called known as a dot matrix printer because it's when it starts to work its sound is so large or the sound is it produces or generates the sound and uh, why now there is a use the header technology there is a header right now and there is a ribbon magnetic ribbon is there and there is a header is there when you are typing uh, something in through your keyboard the repeatedly the header strikes on that ribbon and that image is created on the paper so that is known as the impact printers technology though it is used the hammer technology so the sound is very large as compared to the typewriter typewriter machines also generates the huge sound so similar to the impact printers the hammer technology the hammering one uh, by hammering the characters are generated dot 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 characters are generated by hammering that um, um, through by the that hammer on the magnetic ribbon is there there is no ink or there is no any dust in particles in dust ink or liquiding is nothing there is only a magnetic ribbon sir is there the header is to regularly strike on that ribbon and the character generated on that paper so that is known as the impact printers next what about the non impact printers now not in non impact printers it is there non impact printers non impact printers are use the laser beam light technology so there is no sound like digit printer next is your laser laser printers there is no sound sir there is a soundless printer you can say it is a soundless printer because laser beam is used inks are dusting your particles inks are used as a toner you can say this is a toner right now so as a toner the dust inks are used so to when you print the that the light is pass and the image are created and the print on that paper so it is a soundless printer so this is a non impact printer there's no sound is generated during the printing right like the impact printers so this is about of about the printers so next is your plotter is there also plotter means is your develop the flex mess flex na no? flex are developed this is a plotter is also there so it is also the output unit so mainly the monitor and printers are used as output devices for the computer systems now move to the what is the computer memory now first thing what is the memory Now memory is nothing. It is a location used in the computer system to store the data either permanently or temporarily. Computer memory generally divided into two part. One is your primary memory, another one is your secondary memory. Primary memory, this is known as also the random access memory or RAM or the main memory. but the secondary memory is the external memory which stores the data permanently like hard disks like pen drive external hard disks these are the external devices or external memory uh, used in your computer system now what is the basic difference between the primary memory and the secondary memory generally primary memory primary memory is the what now primary memory stores the data temporary or it is a volatile in nature and uh, known as also the ram or the random access memory but in case of the secondary memory it is the auxiliary memory or it data stores for permanently and the data uh, is a non volatile in nature so what do mean the volatile now volatile means when the computer stops to work or power is off then your whatever the data placed within that memory is automatically erased and if the and the non volatile means whether the computer is working or not working data remains 
or written save uh, permanently within that memory that is the secondary memory so within the primary memory uh, so this is about about the memory concept and in the next class we are going to discuss more points about the memories point so for today's this much thank you